Lutz Castle was built in the 10th century, but at that time it was wooden. Four centuries later, when the Lithuanian Prince Libartis came to the city, they began to reinforce the walls. Prince Libartis has also erected two towers. The main one served as an entry point. Those wishing to climb the entrance tower of the Lutz Castle, also known as Lobartis Castle, will have to conquer 112 stone steps. From the upper viewing platform, the city's old town can be seen. From the top tower, the trumpet sounds precisely at noon every day. I am on guard. In 1429, the castle hosted European monarchs at the diplomatic gathering known as the Congress of Lutsk. Congress considered two main issues. The first one was how to protect Europe from the Ottoman Empire, the attacks of the Turks. And the second was the coronation of the Lithuanian prince Vitatis. Adele is from South Africa. She's visiting Ukraine for the first time and was keen to see the ancient structure. The printing press was extremely interesting because not many castles have a printing press. Um, the wall structure is still very much intact. We've got a proper roof. Um, the church was very interesting downstairs. And that's about that, really. There are several museums on the territory of the fortress, as well historical medieval tournaments are regularly held here. A medieval combat club has existed in Lutsk for nine years. Their reenactments bring an authentic atmosphere to the castle's visitors. Here in Lutsk, trainings take place, for instance, three times a week for two hours. Therefore, it is quite possible to obtain a serious level for participation in all Ukrainian competitions. Just a stone's throw from the castle lies the St. Peter and Paul Cathedral. The Catholic church, designed by Italian architect Guacomo Briano, was built in the 17th century. In Soviet times, it became a museum of atheism. Since the early 1990s, it has hosted regular masses. Lutsk boasts what some refer to as a second castle, a building called the House of Chimeras. Its creator, Mikola Holovan, had been working on his pet project for almost 40 years. The building is adorned inside and out with more than 500 sculptures of beasts, birds, and mythical creatures in a variety of architectural styles, including Gothic, Renaissance, modern, and more. I started to build a side facade in a sacral team, the Apostle. At the time, in the Soviet period, they began to reproach me, claiming that the images of saints do not fit into the socialist realism. But I continued to create sculptures devoted to different topics, including erotic ones. After all, a naked woman's body is beautiful. And finally, a structure not even advertised in travel brochures. Locals call this their own Great Wall of China. At 3,029 meters long, some call it the longest residential building in the world. Some 9,000 residents live in it. Construction lasted 11 years, from 1969 to 1980. Vitaly Novitsky considers it unfair that this house is not known to tourists. Most tourists come here to take nice photos. We want to equip photo zones on elevations where a person can have a picture taken against a beautiful background. Tourists would walk on the roof of the house in a special climbing equipment to be safe. Offering a pleasing mixture of modernity and an ancient history, Lutsk attracts more and more tourists each year.